grandchildren. Yep. Two, two kids, four grandchildren. Uh, my son Mikey Jr. raced for a little bit. And then uh, college loans and race car just didn't mix. So he was done. And, uh, it happens. Yeah. That, those college loans, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what was your car number? Three. Three. The same code I got on, right? Well, you got to go for the senior, I'm telling you. Yeah. In what class did you run? Um... Uh, I ran all of them. I ended up at the end of my years with we super late. And then what other ones did you run before that? You said you started to run what street style? Oh, I ran my street style, limited light, three championships in limited light. Uh, late models, I ran with stars for two years. Um. What do you consider your home track? Like, what track's your home track? No, probably, no, it was actually three of them. It'd be Bradford, uh, McKean, and Freedom. What's your favorite track? The ones that I won. <laughs> well, you know, that's a good thing. <coughs> what all tracks have you gone to? Do you remember? Oh, yeah, I'm in, been to Pennsboro, Gary, West Virginia Motor Speedway, uh, Fulton. Uh, Troy City. Now, did you race up at Drum and stuff, too? Did you do drum, Whitesville? I, I started drum right now. Uh, yeah, Whitesville. Yeah. That was down here. I know you raced with Dad, so that was, you know, back then you did like the drum, the Whitesville, Bradford, Smithport, yeah. and that one out by the Ohio border. What one? Oh, Connie, huh? Yeah. yeah Connie. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I couldn't stop five and points off the top. Yeah. I forget about that track. So right. <laughs> so. Dad always liked that track. Very fast. Who was your childhood hero? Yeah. Like, oh. Who was your racing hero? Oh, I think he was everybody's hero. Yeah. I actually met his daughter Taylor this summer. Really? I did. Oh. Right in Ellicottville. She rode. Are you serious? I am serious. She rodeos. She barrel races her horse. No kidding. No kidding. Oh. Now, how did you get into racing? Actually, I got a uh, my stepbrother raced. I got a DWI and couldn't drive, and I built a race car. Well, I guess that's a good thing. I guess. <laughs> so that's why you started. You just yeah, wanted to. I, that's that's exactly how it started. Okay. What class did you start in? Street style. And then, did your father or grandfather race, or nope. just your stepbrother? Yeah. Okay. And then, why, obviously, you chose your car number because of Dale Senior. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, always back. <laughs> what was your best time in racing? Best time. Yep. Well, we had one year he won Prince of Bradford, we had uh, second of Freedom, and a third or fourth of it. Anyway. What was your worst? <laughs> I mean, it could be one night, one year, one oh, month. Oh, <laughs> one year. I bought a car from Miles Stellinger. And it was the biggest piece of junk I ever bought in my life. Took it up to Tom Tabor's house, and he worked, and he worked on it more than more than one time, and the car was just. Just couldn't get it to go. 
Do you know how many wins you have? It's a hard thing to count. Are you talking about feature wins? Yeah. Or? Well, either. Well, I got three championships. Okay. I, 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 Do you know when your first win was? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> when, when was your first championship? Oh, uh, Bradford. Bradford, do you know year? Yeah, I think it was 90 or 91. I got back to back. Um, how many years did you race? 73 to 95. Minus a year and a half. Okay. And then you've helped Haggerty ever since? Yep. Do you ever see yourself getting back into racing? No. Unless <laughs> I get reincarnated. Okay. Um, and then you're just going to keep helping Haggerty? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, do you, what do you think racing needs to do to move forward? Do you see anything they're like doing wrong that needs to change or? No, I think just a younger generation doesn't go to the racetrack like they used. I mean, that was uh, Saturday night looking forward to go to races. Get more kids involved. Yeah, and it's, I don't think it's going to happen. You never know, maybe things will change. Hope so. Well, it's good. Thank you so much, Mikey, sure. for sitting down with us. I thank really you. appreciate okay. it. Okay. <laughs>